This is the current state of my desk. It's not that bad, but it could be better. It could be cleaner, okay? Welcome back, guys, or welcome. You should be telling me welcome back. I know, it's been like two or three weeks. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened Thanksgiving. November's just so busy for me, and every time I wanted to sit down and make a video, it just never worked out. Oh my God, I see woods today, by the way. We will be going to woods is what I'm trying to say. I have these photo cards. If you watched my Psykers vlog, I showed like my whole haul of photo cards that Emily gave me these photo cards. We have a lot of ZB1, we have some Psykers, and then we have P1, and then a few like, there was like Chani, Win, and like Wavy photo cards. Spotify Rap did just come out yesterday. Oh my God, let's talk about it. Let me know what your top five artists are because I genuinely care and I want to know. I'll show you mine. I didn't even post it on Instagram because I just, I, I was having more fun looking at everyone else's. Like they know, no one really needed to see mine. The man in the back is Raul Alejandro. This is the first year. Wow. And like maybe like five years that my top artist was not like K-pop related. My top artist, you see that same photo. Him, Bad Bunny, P1, Harmony in third. And fourth, we have Zero Base One, which I'm surprised they, like, where's ATs on this list? And then Ariani in five, which I'm surprised she even got there. Top songs, three of them being from Rao. The only K-pop song is Zero Base One. I have more Zero Base One songs on my wrapped than I do of P1 songs. I don't know why I'm even saying that out loud. It's making me feel things. But anyways, enough about that. Let me know your Spotify rap or your any uh, music platform rap. Just so you know, if you see random artists up there, it's my 2023 playlist, okay? Let's get back to the photo cards. the real business at hand. So I showed you for a little bit what my desk looks like right now. I started sorting them out a bit and then I just stopped so i wanted to finish it with you guys because if i don't have someone doing it with me it's never gonna get done so i already have a few kind of like sorted out also that's my chair squeaking sorry but i have my psychers photos right here and then p1 i still have space in my second one i have for the boys and wavy i'll just show you the photo cards i know you guys probably saw them already if you watched the psychers vlog but i just got two chani right from her and then i got from like the sm CU Palace thing. I pulled Xiaojun and there was like a little win-win ID. The thing about these two groups is that I don't have enough of those photo cards from those two individual groups, like enough to fill a binder. You know? So I think I'll just have like a little miscellaneous situation going on. I also feel really bad that you can't see my desk. So I'll just constantly like bring up what I'm holding or what I'm showing, okay? So I'm just going to use what I have. They're like these little, I got them at Unulin. They're little like heart sleeves. And I think they're so cute. So I started putting some on already. I think I'm gonna do ZB1 priority just cause of the fat stack I have of these. Okay, I already kind of chose the little books. I think this My Melody one would be perfect for the miscellaneous boy. <laughs> Boys, and then Chani. I do have a few other um, the boys photo cards and win-win PCs too because deep lore about me is I was a win-win girlfriend stand and it was really it was really bad for me. I have the season's greetings one, the little like the zodiac package. That was cute. I got the yearbook win-win and then the bedroom win-win. I have my ZB1 binder already, right? With, mind you, only here's one PC, right? Gibin, Hanbin, so that's two, and then three, four, five. I only had five zero base one photo cards. And Emily, do you see that? All ZB1. I think it'll fit in here. That's a problem for later. Luckily, we have more up there. Oh yeah, and then for P1, because I already have this book and it filled up already, I'm using the other strawberry book from Bora Studio just for the set that I have here. So not that much going on for P1. Psykers, I only have one photo card book for them. Cute, oh, that's so cute. Okay, so we have a few Psykers photo cards going in there, adding to the collection. I wanna show you guys and update you guys every time I get new photo cards, just because I did the whole collection video and and showed you like everything I own. So maybe I'll just do every now and then like photo card updates. Oh, for ATs, I only have two sleeves or like pockets left in this. Look at that. That is rewarding. Seeing this stacked thick, she's packed. Like that makes me feel good. Yeah, I only have two left. So I already chose another photo book I wanna do as a ATs part two. And I think it's 
perfect. Pink on one side and then black or gray on the other. But it's from Unulin. Me and Unulin like this. But it says Mi Corazon Lovely Collect Book. And I think it's very 80s core. Mi Corazon es tuyo. Me too, son. But I'm going to just use the rest of these for my ZB1. I, I don't think any other group is gonna be sleeved. I, I don't think I have enough. Look at that. That's not gonna be enough. In oh, maybe two hours, I'm going to go pick up Katie, my friend that I've been hanging out with recently ever since she moved to San Diego. But I'm going with her to Woods today. And then we're going to see Chu uh, December 3rd. Dude, I love it when the sleeve is so snug. I joined a group order for Panda Ricky. Obviously it came, but I also joined a group order at the same time for the Daikon magazine. I believe that's how you pronounce it. The Ricky version. Where is she? You tell me. No clue. But also like, um, love goms. Take your time. But also, where is he? We also have these sleeved already. I hope everyone had, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, a very safe and warm, relaxed Thanksgiving. Because I know how this time of year can go. I'm mentally preparing for next year. But at the same time, I'm just not ready for this year to end. I've only been really active online and sharing with people, you know, like my life online. Yeah, I started TikTok in like quarantine with like most most of us. That was when I realized that like the more I post and the more I document certain like parts of my life or like little trips or just like, you don't even have to necessarily share them, but you know, like vlogging for yourself because I know a lot of my friends do that too. It makes you digest life more because prior to posting online, the years flew by so quickly. And then I think like, what did I do this year? Basically what I'm trying to say is the past almost three years of me being on social media, just being active in general, does not feel like three years. It feels like 10 in three years, like 10 years just like compacted and put into three. Yeah, I love and I'm forever grateful that quarantine Brie stepped out of her comfort zone and started doing what she wanted. Cause now I have friends that I get to visit and like Katie, for example, that I'm seeing today. Had I never posted on TikTok, it sounds so silly, but I would have never met her. I wouldn't have gone to the cities I went to this year, met the people I met this year. Like I always think about where I would be if I just stayed scared. Oh my God, dude. <gasps> I'm on my last three already. Oh God. That being said, if you always wanted to get online and just post little vlogs just for fun, even if it's just for yourself and your friends, make 2024 the year you start. Cause why not? And I feel like everyone nowadays are like making their own little vlogs of some sort or just online. Unless that's totally not your thing, then obviously don't. But I didn't know it was my thing until I did it. Seeing this pile full of the heart sleeves is very satisfying. Ooh. So I have a whole pack of other ones, but I think these are like slightly bigger. <gasps> they fit! Yes! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's keep going. Concerts I want to go to next year, Troy Savan, for sure. Um, 80s, because we all know it's happening. Zero Base One, because I'm delusional. Um, P1, actually P1 needs to chill out. As much as I want to see them, ASAP, like, see y'all in 2025, actually, please. Take a nap for me, actually. I would have loved to see Bad Bunny, but unfortunately, I'm not a millionaire and I could not afford those tickets, so. Yeah, I am. I do have a few exciting trips planned next year, though. And then, of course, y'all will see me at KCON again. Duh. Also, one thing about my room that I don't like is that I get no natural sunlight. Maybe like one hour in the morning, but because I get no sunlight in my room, most of the lights obviously from my uh, Christmas lights and they're more of like a, definitely warm for sure. So I end up looking orange at all times. And then my face naturally being a little pink is never a good combo. This is a message to SM Entertainment. Bring him back and release Siren before I get in there and do it myself. For legal reasons, that is not a threat and I'm just joking. And if I say this is P1's best song, okay, officially done with the ZB1 sleeving. Okay, so I'm gonna sleeve everything and then I'll put them in their respective binders. Let's do P1 next. 
There must be a better way to do this, but I, I don't know how else. Having a lot of my friends be scattered around the country and like having met them online, it's a very interesting um, dynamic. Cause then it's like, you have to make even more of an effort to see them. I think that's the, the sweet part of it, the sweet aspect. Because it's like, you really made the effort to go and travel to see them, you know? And you talk every day and communication obviously is like a huge part of it all. But I hopefully will be seeing my my friend group Kaya, Anna, Autumn, CJ next year of course but they're seeing each other in December because they're all East Coast and I'm the only West Coast girl and I really don't feel like buying a airplane ticket to New York last minute for next week okay my P1 has been sleep now psychers here are my psychers PCs in case you missed it I do have two of this Minjay PC because Rhea gifted me one at KCON before I even had the album and I of course pulled him today is November 30th which means is AT's comeback tonight? It is tonight! Woo! See, I haven't even bought my ZB1 albums. That's even more PCs. And then AT's albums, even more PCs. So it's just a never ending cycle. But um, also, I think I jinxed myself when uh, in my QA video I said I have no interest in anyone. Because hey, here I am interested in someone but i'm only telling you girl i'm only telling you because i know nothing is gonna happen because i'm gonna keep it all in here we talked once and i'm delusional so that's that <laughs> you want to know my new celebrity crush though that's where it matters i feel like with k-pop they are celebrity crushes but i for some reason associate that term with just not k-pop idols i don't know why but like this is very much a celebrity crush you know like because he's a celeb and i need him Charles Leclerc, one of the Ferrari F1 drivers. Girl, I love F1. I joined the party so freaking late. If you don't know what F1 is, Formula One, driving, the race, the... <laughs> my immediate family have all been into F1 for like, especially my dad, for a few years now. And they've gone to a few races already and I just went to mine. When I went to Mexico City recently, it was all kind of surrounding like F1 Mexico Grand Prix. And that was my first race and I came out a fan. I came out a fan and no, it's not just because some of the drivers look the way that they look and act the way that they act. The actual sport, the motor sport, is genuinely very interesting to me and I love getting into it. I did only get to see four races before the season ended. It's just one of my new little obses obsessions now because I think I needed something out of K-pop to like obsess over. But I'm a Checo fan and a Charles Leclerc fan. Thank you very much. Moving on, moving on. Last photo card, we're finally done. Okay, cool. <gasps> yes, I'm so happy. Okay, none of them are unsleeved. They're all packaged. Let's go. I'm gonna start, okay. Here's an update of what my desk looks like. So we have all of the photo cards in their tiny little sleeves. My AT's photo cards, I have two sleeves left. I don't know which two to give it to. Dude, how is that the back? Oh, I think this is fever. Okay, I'll put fever in here. She is officially done! My first AT's photo book complete. Back on the shelf. And then we start again with the Unulin Mi Corazon. Let's see if this looks well. Awesome. He's kind of high a little bit, but that's cute. I think I prefer this one. I used to collect Felix and Hyunsuk of CIX. Now, I would say, I mean, I don't really collect, but I mean, the last time I did buy a photo card was Ricky. So I think it's safe to say that if I were to collect anyone now, it would be Ricky. End of discussion, I guess. I don't I don't really buy other photo cards. Zhang Hao and Gyuvin, those are my three boys. So I have this in the front and then we're only gonna get two pages deep in this one. Luckily it's double-sided. Yes. Done. Okay, we're getting somewhere, people! Let's do psychers. I have them in this little Bora Studio one. Okay, I added them all. It was just these right here. I love Yujun's rainbow hair. I don't care what anyone says. I feel like <laughs> literally no one was hating on his hair. Sorry, I got defensive. Him and Hunter, the twins. And then this is a duplicate I was telling you about. Cute! She's coming along. She's coming along. I still need to buy Psyker's debut album. What is wrong with me? Dude, I have, I, I'm so behind with my albums. I just, you know, I saw like people on Twitter and TikTok talking about how they've kind of strayed away from Dan culture. 
Does that even have to do anything with buying albums? I feel like it does, right? The more I'm becoming an adult with more responsibilities and working often than school, like I can't be blowing my money the way I used to. I would much rather like save that money for concerts. For example, I know ATs is going on tour, so I, and then it's the holidays. It's just never the right time for me to splurge on myself, you know? So going in with my my Melody one, it's only right that I cover, I do the little cover of Chani. Let's see how it looks. He's very close to the camera in a lot of his PCs, which we love. Ah, wait, this is so cute. He has like a little ice cream dipped in like blue chocolate with sprinkles. And I think it's very fitting. Perfect. The wavy slash... Oh wait, it's not done. Okay, <laughs> I really just did the cover. Okay, so let's go in with the other Chani PC. Gorge. The new The Boys album, the fantasy part two, the album was so good. Okay, so after Chani, we'll start with just do Xiao Jun, I think. Boyfriend by Justin Bieber. Does that remind you of a certain someone? Does that remind, does that, um, does that ring a bell? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Done. Dude, adding the little books back to their shelves or back to the shelf in their little spots, it's a good feeling. We have two left. These two, ZB1 and P1. I think we'll do P1 because I know there's a lot of space in here. Have you guys started holiday shopping? Because I surely have not. I always forget to buy on Black Friday. I don't know what happens. I'm just never like ready. I never have a list of things that I'm looking for, but um, every day is Black Friday when you're financially irresponsible. But this one, my P1 part two book, after I finish this strawberry one, then I will use her. But for now, let's focus on getting this done. I feel like I never finished this thought from earlier, but I am not ready for this year to end. It definitely was a better year than 2022 for me. I think so. It was more eventful, but it also was harder, I would say. All right. But I feel like with 2022, I remember feeling so ready for the new year and just like wanting that year to be over with. And for 2023, surprisingly, I'm not ready. I don't know. I'm very excited for 2024 though. I The amount of things I have planned and I can't wait to bring you guys with me. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm just like so thrilled, but it already feels like I have 2024 planned out for the most part. You know, if within a few months, I have these events that I want to go to or things that I want to do. Like I think going into 2023, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just gonna play by ear, in which I did. You know, I didn't have any expectations. So this year, a lot happened. Let's get on to the final book. These pockets are double sided. No, they're not. Wait, yeah, they are. That was satisfying. Oh man, I had them in an order. <laughs> I wanna keep the ones like, for example, these obviously together. Uh, maybe let's start with Panda Ricky. That'll be a good one. The Rickies. Bring back his eyebrows, by the way. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I was subscribed to Ricky, Gubin, and Jang Hao's bubble. Was as in past tense. I recently canceled my subscriptions. Cause okay, first of all, I knew I was not going to stick with all three forever. That's like what, $12? Uh, not that much, but like $12 a month. But like, girl, get a grip. Now this is me to me, not to, you guys spend your money however you'd like, but for me personally, Bri, get a grip. We'll have two Chung Hao's. I just like, there was no need for me to have three. And then I was just gonna keep one, but I know you can't, what sucks is that you can't just change your subscription. You have to delete or cancel the entire thing. Cause I was on for three tickets. So as far as I know, I don't think I could have edited the three to like a one. And then it was like, okay, well, if I had one, right? Ideally, I guess it would be Ricky. I would keep Ricky's. But then out of the three I had, he was the least active. I would have kept, if I absolutely had to pick one, I think I'd pick Yubin because he made it worth the money. No offense, I love my Hardy boss, Zhang Hao and Ricky. They just weren't as active for my liking. Ricky, he will ask how you're doing, drop a selfie or like a really crazy photo and then leave. Which like, thank you. Here is how my desk looks right now. This is pretty satisfying, I think. They're in their little piles. So these right here are the cherry, cherry photo cards. This one, I'm not 
so sure. I just know it's one of the trading. It's one that came in the little packs, I believe. These, this is the set. And then these are the hollow ones. Three of them being Ricky. Oh my god. These are the hearts. These are the phone ones, I believe. The iPhone ones. And then these are just like the fake Polaroids. I'm on my phone now because I'm, taking, I'm saving my battery for the concert. Even though I may have to just use my phone. But anyways, as I was showing you, they are in little piles now. Um, and I think we're ready to put them in their home. Okay, so starting off with Hanbin, we're going in order because, duh, we aren't crazy. Maybe I'm a fake fan. Oh my god. Jiung's after Hanbin, right? Because he's the oldest, right? Okay. And then we do Zhang Hao. Or is it Zhang Hao and then... Because he's center. No, right? Okay, I was right. Dude, don't ever doubt yourself. Okay, Zhang Hao after Jiung. I feel like I'm basically giving you guys a tour. Oh, let me try and put them in like this. After Zhang Hao, it's Matthew. Yes! And then Ricky. See, I know. I know the order. Dude, the, I know the audio quality with my phone's gonna be bad. I feel like vlogging on your phone for concerts is superior. This is the only one I'm doing on camera like this. this there's no way I'm gonna be able to do all of it. And we are completed with that. Okay, now for the rest. I've listened to K-pop for a long time now. But I, you know, now that I'm an adult and I have things to do and I'm out and about and things to pay for. I started that off because I was talking about albums, right? How I'm falling behind with albums. And that's okay. I used to freak out and be like super, I'd feel guilty almost, which like no one cares, but I would just feel so bad that I was falling behind. And then like when I wouldn't listen to the music, the second it came out, you know? Every now and then I'll stay up for a release. The last thing I, stayed up for was Zero Base One's debut. I'm just maturing. I am a now mature K-pop stan. Just did the hearts, now we're moving on to the cherries. But yeah, I used to think that like, you know, being late to certain albums, listening or just watching, I do not watch content as much anymore. I can't even remember the last video. It must have been like a Rise, a Rise video. But I just am not watching content like I used to. Then again, the used to was like, you know, in high school when I had time. Now we can do the phones. Do I have two house? Yeah, two house. Okay, let's do Polaroids now. But yeah, I Rise is my last group right now. Like I, I just can't. I can't keep up, sorry y'all. I'm turning into a grandma. Oh, wow. <gasps> no way, I'm filling this up. Wow, that went by, That re we really did that. I only have one, two, three. Oh man, of course I have four. <laughs> okay, so we have Tere and then this Ricky, but I literally have three. Should I just like, for now, stack on top? That's kind of, is that kind of ugly? Gross? It's not like you can tell. Because where am, am I going to start it? I mean, maybe just for now. No one will know. Woo! Oh, that's so satisfying. Dude, call me a collector, actually. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, let's put this back on the shelf where she belongs. Oh. Stop. Okay, we finally finished. I believe that was all. Oh my god, don't let me catch another photo card you left in a fold, in like a holder. <gasps> I, how did I know? How? Will you hate me if I say there's two Teres in here? I'm sorry, I had duplicates, so I, he was occupying this space, but we had to make it work. We had to make it work. Okay, and we're back. Oh my gosh, okay, before I end this video, I do have a little unboxing we can do together. I got this little package from Ame Crochet. I don't know exactly what's in here, but she makes a crocheted light stick headbands. And I have a few, I've shown my pink bunny one I have for the My P1 Harmony light stick. And then my 80s one, it's like a little cat. Okay. Oh, cute! Brie! Brie, thank you so much for always supporting and loving my tiny shop. I hope you love our new pink pochaco! <laughs> pink pochaco and some coasters! Oh my gosh, I was just using this coaster I have from her. It's this little pink and green heart. And it's like soft. Ooh, I use it all the time. Coaster's so glad we finally got to meet. We met at Ordinary Affairs uh, Halloween Boobash. And I hope to see you at more events. Amanda! Yeah. Ooh, so flush. Let's see. 
Oh, baby pink. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. It's like a baby pink bochaco, but it could also be like Snoopy. And it's all soft. Oh my God. If I had a cat, I would put this on them. Last thing, last thing. We have, oh, there's two. Oh my God, shut up. There's star coasters. Oh my God. This is gonna look so freaking cute. Oh, Amanda, thank you. I'm obviously gonna post on Instagram and message her, but in case she's watching. Anyways, that is it. Oh my God. I feel like a lot was covered today, but not, I, we were just talking to be honest. But anyways, thank you guys for sticking with me through this two week drought. I know that's nothing compared to the five months I've taken in the past, but we will not return to that, I promise. In the meantime, I am clearly not ready to go see Woods. <laughs> okay, so I gotta go get ready and I will see you guys next time in the next video, hopefully next week. If not, uh, come into my DMs and yell at me, please. So I'm gonna go pick up Katie now. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>